Witam Państwa bardzo serdecznie. Jest z nami Pani Joanna Parsons, General Manager of Ibsen in Poland. Hello, welcome. Uh, we are here in uh, Karpacz for three days. Three, I think, hard days, but uh, many, many... Intense. Many intense days, many ideas. And uh, what is, in your opinion, the most important topic that we had in Karpacz? Thank you for having me and thank you for the question. I actually think it's a tough question because there's a lot going on, there's a lot of energy, there are a lot of exchanges. For me, it's not a topic. It's actually the spirit of the forum and the openness. As a representative of a French company in Poland, as a pharma company, for us, it's a great sign that there is this um, open exchange with uh, public sector representatives, with the ministry, uh, with the various funds, also with the patient representatives. So we believe this kind of um, transparent uh, debate is um, the way forward and a good foundation for the evolution of the Polish healthcare system for the benefit of Polish patients. Yeah, Polish healthcare system is uh, one of the uh, many main important topics here, here in Karpacz. But um, what is your opinion about the future of this, I can say market, but <laughs> this, 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 this whole ecosystem? Where are we going and what is the role of Ibsen here, here in Poland? Those are two very, uh, very difficult questions. Yeah. In terms of Poland, what I tell my colleagues from Global is that Poland has a history of more than 20 years uninterrupted growth before COVID, before the pandemic. And now we return to growth. Obviously we've got challenges, there's inflation uh, in pharma, there's obviously cost pressure um, on, uh, on reimbursement, but also we have pressures on our cost base with inflation and we need to look after our people. So there are challenges. But if you think of Poland, and again, I'm putting my healthcare hat on because that's my business. If you think of the unmet medical need in many important therapeutic areas, if you think of the population that is aging, like everywhere in Europe, uh, there is a big opportunity for healthcare companies in particular and pharma companies in our case to make a difference, to partner with the local system and to use the local talent and the local ingenuity and experience and expertise, for example Poland is great in terms of clinical studies, to innovate, to even beyond R&D in commercial to make small pilots, small projects for patients and learn, test and learn, and export things from Poland to other countries. So Poland has a very important role in, uh, in the European uh, history, politics, as well as in the Ipsen group in terms of our focus. Mm -hmm. Can you say some more about the most important uh, projects that you have in Poland, that you are uh, improving, you're putting you have more things into our the healthcare system, which has a lot of problems, as, as, as I think we all imagine. As you may imagine, uh, for us collaborating with patient organizations is very important because it's about patient unmet needs. So one of the big type of projects we do is disease awareness campaigns. And they can be national level, they can be local level. Um, for example, we're partnering with the um, Foundation for Brain Diseases to improve awareness of patients with spasticity and their therapeutic options and where they can find care in different centers close to their home. We've worked on um, kidney cancer awareness, or cancer awareness more broadly and early diagnosis and kidney cancer in, in specific. So disease awareness is a big area for us. And also we look to invest in beyond the molecule solution. So it's not just the pill or just the injection. Sometimes um, support for patients is essential to make sure they get access to the best care if they need it. So uh, we're just now working and hope to get approval from my group colleagues for a patient support program. Um, again, looking at spasticity patients and um, catching the early onset of spasticity to improve their quality of life and their prognosis. Mm -hmm. And uh, does Poland a good place for um, uh, more research and development techniques? Uh, I'm speaking about not only um, medical science, but also uh, I know uh, some uh, new technologies like artificial intelligence or so on to just improve uh, your researches but also to, to improve techniques for, for medical uh, treatment. You're asking a leading question, of course it is. And we know uh, there are many Polish uh, mathematicians and scientists who have made huge improvements in, in the world. Currently I think there is a buzzing tech scene and startups. For example, we met here the uh, Warsaw Innovation uh, Fund uh, Hub. Uh, hub. Yeah. And they were explaining to us their, um, their vision, which I think is absolutely the right direction, and they're partnering with more than 400 startups from really more established startups doing financing to a scientist, a PhD student with an idea. So that kind of ecosystem is emerging. The ideas exist, the brain power exists. We talk about Ipsen Poland as a talent hub because of the bright minds and the good English skills. 
so there's a lot of opportunity and again in different industries in different technologies from AI to machine learning to whatever you want to to look at not only in healthcare obviously there is huge potential okay so Ipsen in Poland will be much larger in, in the in coming years right if I have <laughs> my way that's what we're working towards simply because Ipsen focuses on um, diseases with high unmet need life-threatening diseases and we feel and we know based on data that there is an opportunity in Poland to serve patients better thank you very much thank you <laughs> thank it was you. a pleasure